in designing what we wanted the modernized file explorer to look like we were able to help define how some of the standard WinUI controls should be applied in cases like File Explorer. So when you take, for example, the new ribbon, uh, which is really a XAML WinUI command bar, or the context menu, which uses command bar flyout, these are controls that, you know, really simplify the experience and clean them up compared to Windows 10. And they give an opportunity for other app developers to reuse these controls in a really similar way. The primary obstacle we encountered with WinUI 3 is performance. It's a continuous process, yet with Microsoft's dedication to refining the framework and our own efforts to fine tune our code, we're optimistic that we'll overcome this hurdle. We wanted Camo to fit perfectly in Windows 11 with fluent design. Our approach to solving this was pulling in the open source WPF UI library and adapting it and pushing a number of contributions back. In the last year, it's been really exciting to see Microsoft embracing this library and adopting it for WinUI styling in WPF itself. I love building native apps because not only does it give me great performance and a native look, it also lets me stand out from the competition. It's kind of like Instead of building a one size fit all you're building a custom tailored version of your app for the Windows platform. Me personally, when given the chance, I always prefer native apps over the alternative. Developing native applications for Windows is the best way to bring the ideal user experience and the integration with the OS, and also give us developers direct access to all the Windows APIs available.